we are going to now do the fishtail, but the entry I'm going to use is a, a bronze figure, the cross chasse, because we're not allowed to do the cross swivel until gold. And the fishtail is a little bit of a difficult movement, especially if we're coming off of a lock or something has a lot of movement. So I want something that's more swirly that can cross stop. Cross chasse, very easy, it's just a little half a box stepping out that part. Now the fishtail is usually done incorrectly, so we're going to be very careful about explaining the piece. When I step outside partner, this walk is a check, so she's in the middle of her back walk, turn that side in, turn it in, and stick. I'm not taking her to where her heel takes her weight. I don't want her to feel that she's going to continue on into a lock or a natural turn. I want to stop here. And what I'm doing then is I'm going to rise at the end of this flow and pull my legs together so it becomes a lock. Now if she's paying attention to that, she will lock also. Right, think right here? Yes, but since you're in a back walk, she would be rolling. Nope. If you're in a normal back walk, your toe would be coming up. Oh yeah. Okay. So she's in that triangle position when I instigate that rise. She should cross her feet in the front right here. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be going like that. Yes. The heel okay. becomes a toe. So that's that's the same footwork for the lady in a normal walk where she's caught in her walk with this heel up and this toe up. Mm -hmm. And she feels the rise and she goes from the heel to the toe. Okay. okay, so that's happening very quickly. So you're taking this slow, but you don't get a chance to roll through, hopefully. As you're moving onto the left foot, he's coming forward and he's rising. And that causes that crossing action. Right, then the next step that I take is gonna bump you out of the position, out of the cross, and into another lock. So again, this looks very simple, but a lot of people have trouble with this figure. <laughs> My feet just crossed one way and then immediately crossed the other. So we'll do cross chasse. Quick, quick. We'll take an outside slow, rising at the end. Quick. Now, we were close together. Right? I'm right here and I'm going to move my foot, whoops, towards her very slightly, which should bump her foot on my left leg. I don't want you to think about it, I want you to try to react. It bumps that foot out of the way and lifts the lock. Good. Oh. So the key is that you don't get ahead of the man. Okay, take your time. Slow. Quick. Quick. Slow. One, two, three, four. Slow. Slow. The thing about this is there's a very quick sway to the right. So turn your head. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't bring it back okay. here. So you're here, and then you do more, and then just come back. Then we'll come back level. So usually what happens is people put the sway usually in the wrong place, or if they do sway, then they sway the other way, and the lock itself is like absolutely flat. Okay. All right. So I hope I don't scare you. Let me go ahead and do the sway again. Slow, quick, quick, slow. One, two, three, four, slow. But she's never done a fishtail before. So do a good one. Take a close-up <laughs> of the feet. Okay, we'll do of the feet? Yeah, do the feet so we can see them. Okay. Let's do the cross chasse so it's like a little twinkle. Slow, quick, quick. Now you step slow. At the end of that step, you'll rise, crossing. So just practice that. Rise, good. Then you take a small step. Now this is a very unusual step because it's outside partner, but it's not a CDMT. So this makes this an exception to every rule. So I've now bumped her out of her lock, and then we press out of this foot into the lock, and land it, and we're done. So now if we do that, we'll go ahead and do the cross chasse. Stay on the feet for now. Stay on the feet, okay. Slow, quick, quick, walk, slow, rise, one, 
two, three, four, slow, slow. Okay. I think I did any of that. You did. You did. Oh. <laughs> you did it all just following me. So now we'll do we'll do it close together. So you'll be able to feel how the contact there in the upper thigh helps to so you want the whole body? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Across the chest, say, press, press this up to go outside partner. Slow. As we do the rise, we do a quick sway to the right. Now you bump the leg out of the way. Quick. Keep it to level. And out we go. Good. Bravo. Now you try to get it. Just practice this one little, I'm going to call it a cut. Because it's a very, very small action. Slow. Quick, quick this motion from the cross to the slight uncross. We're very close together at that point. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick. So I'm right against her there. Okay, so if I do some big old movement there, we're going down. Mm -hmm. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick. Boom. I'm just bumping her essentially out of balance enough that she catches herself by putting that foot there, top, top. So it's just this little change weight. Again, every normal step, like the first one in the slope, that we take outside partner is always in CBMP. So it's in this very unusual moment that we lose that CBMP. That's it. That's probably a little bit. Turn your leg in. Oh, there you go. That's it. That's it. Good. Okay. Okay. Try the whole thing with this as man with wild abandon so you can see how quick this is and how the little the little dolphin action there. Yeah. <laughs> it's in. Slow, quick, quick, slow. One, two, three, four, slow, slow. So do it this way. Slow. Quick, quick, slow. One, two, three, four, slow. So cool. If I do it as a lady, quick, quick, slow. One, two, three, four, slow, slow. So you just have that very unusual, that one quick, boom, is a quick sway. Right? And it, it fits in if we turn this, we can turn the fish tail, which feels even nicer. We can turn it to the right to go around the corner. Okay. So we'll have to see where we are in the room, whether we do it pretty much in a straight line, or if we do it to turn the other way, okay. which is very cool.